We've actually got some good news to bring you, as you can see in the video title, Jamal Lascelles has signed a contract extension. Now, the club have been very, very clever how they're marking and they're saying that he's penned a six-year deal. That's not strictly true. He's actually signed a one-year extension, effectively, because we already knew that he had a, you know, a five-year deal, which he only signed 12 months ago, and now he's literally signed on for another year, which effectively ties him down in Newcastle for up to six years, which, don't get me wrong, it's fantastic news, it's because we don't get many good news to report on this channel because of the carry-on off the field and on the feel isn't great at the moment but this is what Rafa Benitez went round and said I'm really pleased to see Jamal sign a contract extension he's the future of the club and someone who really cares the fans are looking for players who care about the team and the club and he is one of these players he's still a young player still a young captain and still a young centre back so we're talking about a player who has a great future because normally you consider the peak of a centre back could be between 28 years old and 30 years old so he has still plenty of room for improvement He's still keen to learn and he's working hard, trying to be a better player every day. So it's good news for the club. And you can see more of that on the club's website. Well, Jamal's been speaking to NUFC TV about, you know, signing his contract extension. One of those well, the reasons were the fans also, because he's got a family, his girlfriend's only just recently gave birth. But this is what he said about the fans. Oh, I mean, you know, that's, that's one of the biggest ones, to be honest. You know, just knowing that, how, how loved you are and... Um, you know, that they'd love to hear about me getting tied down and, you know, it's, it's so important for me to hear. And, you know, I, we, as players, we all appreciate the uh, the energy and time and money they put into, you know, travelling thousands of miles to come watch us play away in the cold and obviously filling out St James every, every home game. So we do appreciate that and, you know, we'll, we feel quite bad that we ain't giving them the results. But I think sooner rather than later we'll, we'll start um, giving them something back. Right, OK, so that is it. Jamal has signed on for another year. It's still good news. I know it's only a year. And he's here for another six years, which will take him to 30. Whether he says out all of those six years, we'll have to wait and see on that. But, you know, it's still positive news. Let us know what you lot think and the thoughts on their blow. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye. Call yourself a fan. Well, we're about to put it to the test. So that's one. Yep, great counting. <laughs> and two sets of Premier League fans face off. We hate them. Why not? Don't get bit. To see who has the best football knowledge. Six or seven. I was going to go with five to this. <laughs> it's all about the bragging rights. I just want trophies. <laughs> the only thing we'll win this season. It's game on. Yeah, I, I, I can't believe we brought VAR into this. <laughs> <laughs> fan TV, call yourself a fan on BT Sport.